in that uh, clip for the open of the show, uh, Tiff and I were in front of the bronze fund. Yes. We um, wanted to play that part of our show open in honor of Gary Marshall, who passed, passed away yesterday. A lot of people know he was the creator of Happy mm -hmm. Days, which was set here in Milwaukee. So yeah. a shout out to him. Pay your All visits right. to the bronze fund. That's right. All right. Joining us for chat is a Wisconsin Badgers football player who later played in the NFL. Travis Beckham was a tight end drafted by the New York Giants, played 2009 to 2012 mm -hmm. when he tore his ACL. Now he's he living life after the NFL as a DJ, DJ47, right? Yeah, is that in honor of your number? Yes. Great yes. to see you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being Thanks for here. having me here. Absolutely. Yeah, what's it like uh, life after pro ball? A lot of people say, you know, it's kind of hard. You, you spend your whole life uh, trying to achieve these goals. You achieved fantastic goals. And then what do you do after? Yeah, I mean, obviously you, you live your whole life trying to live your dream. And, mm -hmm. and obviously I, I've done that, um, accomplished more than, than I wanted to, um, obviously by winning the Super Bowl. Um, not only playing in the Super Bowl, but winning the Super Bowl. Uh, but yeah, it, it, there's a big transition as far as life after football. Um, yeah. But uh, it happens. You can't play forever, and uh, you just have to learn to adjust. So. You didn't wear your ring? I didn't wear my ring. You guys didn't <laughs> tell me to wear my ring. Seriously? I would have worn it. Next time. Yeah, I love wearing that ring around women, too. Oh, yeah? <laughs> that impresses chicks. Yeah. Chicks dig yeah, that. Yeah. It's like I kind of walk around with my dog in certain places, my little puppy. So. Yeah, yeah. girls yeah. like dogs. Yeah, yeah you got, you, you've got it dogs down. Dogs wearing. And a Super Bowl wearing. You're like, oh, this? <laughs> this little thing? Seriously. <laughs> um, so talk a little bit about playing football. So played for the Badgers, mm -hmm. which has got to be super awesome. I mean, yeah. what a, bi a great Big Ten school to play for. Yeah. Um, and then play in the NFL. I mean, that's quite a life. It is. Um, it's uh, it was really it was it was a hard decision uh, because obviously I, I was I was really highly recruited out of out of high school, and um, where'd you go? You went to high school I went to Oak Creek. Oak Creek. Right? I went mm -hmm. to Oak Creek High School and. Uh, Ended up going to Madison, which is probably the smartest thing that I've ever done. Uh, extremely huge fan base. Um, as soon as I came in, they accepted me. Obviously, uh, everybody from Wisconsin probably would have hated me if I would have went anywhere else. Yes. Um, yeah. But um, but the the stuff that they got going on up there is just is unbelievable, and um, it's a family. And I and I noticed that as soon as I as soon as I got 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 to school. Um, I got hazed a little bit. Obviously, the the rookies get it. Um, the freshmen, sorry, I'm thinking NFL, but uh, yeah. but I, I loved it, and yeah. um, I'm, I'm glad I stayed in Wisconsin. Good for you. Yeah. You. So DJing now, that's your big thing. Tell DJing us a little is bit about thing. that. Was that kind of your hidden talent always? You no, loved music. You no, know, you know what's crazy is that uh, I I randomly picked it up. One of my buddies, uh, he owns a venue uh, downtown, and he was like, Hey, Jermaine Dupri is going to be um, in town in uh, about two weeks. Do you want to open up for him? And I thought it was like kidding, uh, but clearly it wasn't. So I went out the next day. I went out and bought all the equipment, and uh, I, I started DJing, just practice every day. Um, and uh, my first gig was actually opening up for Jermaine Dupri. Um, and uh, ever since, I haven't stopped. Um, but I love it. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's not like uh, playing in front of hundreds of thousands of fans, uh, but just being able to kind of. Uh, Control how somebody's night is going to go. Well, the energy right. of exactly. it, I would think, would be kind of cool. You think about DJing mm -hmm. and, and, and playing football while they're two different things. There's an energy from the exactly. crowd that obviously. What makes a good DJ, in your opinion? Um, just being able to blend music. Um, a lot of DJs are, are good. They can mix, um, but a lot of them can't read crowds. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, every venue is different. I'm an open format DJ, which means I play all type of music, but. Um, you can't just play your favorite style of music. And a lot of DJs do that. They get out and play their favorite songs. But mm -hmm. my favorite song isn't your guys' favorite song. So you have to read the crowd and, and see where the energy is coming from and, and kind of feed off them. What's your favorite song? Uh, I would probably say Drake, One Dance. Yeah? Yeah. That's a good cool. one. That kind of gets um, me in the mood. Tiff has a, a <laughs> hidden talent. She can um, guess people's. Which one? Your, she can guess somebody's <laughs> neck size. Yes. So she wants to guess your neck size. I get sensitive about my neck, so be careful. You do? Oh, really? Why? No. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> no, you Trick don't. Trick ya. Trick ya. <laughs> okay, do you know the current size measurement of your neck? Yes. Okay, is it 19? 19? 18? Nope, bigger? 17 and a half. 17 and a half. What was 19? it as its biggest? Probably 19. <laughs> Yeah. She's like, I'll guess his next up. That, those pictures, yeah, I used to, 
Yeah, that was a big neck. Yeah, you would yeah, have a big yeah, neck. I've, you look tough in that picture. <laughs> I don't look yeah. tough now? Oh, yes, you do. Okay. You do. Like, okay. Really tough. Speaking yeah. of, um, <laughs> of um, being tough, um, there was this survey that said that um, buying jeans is really stressful for a majority of women. Yeah. Is it ever stressful for guys? Well, I'm a size six, so I don't really have that. Uh, <laughs> I don't really Perfect that. size six. No, I um, I mean you just get. I mean jeans run different. You know what I mean. Different brands run different. Yep. Um, and I'm the type of person. It's, when I go shopping, I hate to try on clothes. Like oh, I'm it's just the worst. I just want to grab like it that. and just skedaddle. But um, I pretty. I'm either like a 36 or a 38. So. so you could just pick your number, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's yeah what Molly well, you said. guys. Because it doesn't work Got like that for women. For yes. women, oh. it doesn't matter the number or the size. You have to check how the back looks. And it's you have to go through many jeans. Oh, so I'm the same way, though. It's like, I have to check how my tush looks as well. <laughs> and if, if it doesn't look good, I'm You're replacing out. those jeans. Yeah, I'm out of there. Um, what's your favorite summer Olympic sport? Because a lot of people, you know, it's coming up here on NBC in a couple of weeks. And yeah. um, there was a big survey that came out about people's favorite sport to watch in the summer. What's yours? What, what are other people's favorites? 50, I'm going to say gymnastics. Fifty-eight percent of people say gymnastics yeah. is what they look forward to. Yeah. Only five percent choose diving. My favorite is gymnastics too. I, l I like gymnastics, but honestly, it's funny because I was, uh, I was. There was something on the TV on the TV the other day, and uh, I I really like diving. I think yeah. I think it's it's ridiculous what those those oh. people do. Oh, I know. I, I can't even jump off a diving board that high, let alone no. do backflips and triple flips and. And make and all no that stuff. splash when yeah, you go in. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So I would probably say mine was diving then. Okay. Yeah. You're in the five percent, yeah. just so you know. Yeah, that's. Just, cool. I don't want to be like everyone else anymore. I figured that. Yeah. What's the first thing you notice about a woman? Um, first thing I notice about a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Don't um, hold back. Your probably, friends are over there like this. Probably. Uh, what is, he gonna what say? is it? Probably. Uh, I, I mean, her. I, I'm really big in, in women's hair. Like I, I, that's something I notice right away. Um, is 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 women's hair. Um. You know what's so funny about him saying that? Hmm. I don't know if you remember this, but we ask a lot of guys this question. I, Especially I like, athletes. I like. So, I don't, for whatever reason, yeah. we ask athletes this question. You're right. Yeah. Um, and it's funny because um, we've asked Robin Yount and yeah. a, a lot of different people. And what I find is by age, guys say different things. But the mm. most fascinating thing when we had those three young boys, I think they were young, Chinooks players, baseball okay. They yeah. were like 19, 20. All three of them, they were like 19, 20 years old. They all said hair. So yeah, that's probably a bad thing that I said here. No, then. I just think it's a young yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It's a young guy thing. Yeah. You know, Robin Yount said their butt. <laughs> you know, I, I was going to say did. that, but then I was like, uh, well, like it, it, might, it might be a little early to be you saying that. So <laughs> like, we have to get yeah. to know each other a little more before you're going to go there. I mean, I, I just, true, but <laughs> I, I have like the best tush star like ever. Like, you know? yeah. you just have, like, I noticed like. I'm like, pew! Like, I see them everywhere. Is. There it is. Yeah. That's my number one thing. And then the hair. Uh, then hair. Okay, so just then you. hair. Yeah. I love it. So, yeah. okay. Oh, we didn't even talk about naps. Really quick. Um, mm. There's this place in Dubai where it's called the nap bar. And you can actually <laughs> go to this place. It's free. It's like a furniture company put this place together. And you can go there and take a nap because they believe there it is. And there are these oh. like special lounge chair things. This is live on our, like, so check that out. Okay. So people go there. It's a furniture company. They have All like right. these lounge chair bed type things where people are actually napping. But today is National Nap Day. So on oh, really? our Facebook page, we're asking mm -hmm. people, where is your favorite place to nap? And it's funny. It, I asked this question because my mom, in all the years, I've never, ever seen her nap anywhere other than a chair sitting up. Really? Oh. When I take a nap, I your lay favorite in my place bed. Is? What's my your bed? favorite place to nap? Probably, probably my bed. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Mine's the couch or my car. I, I have love a sticky, car naps. I have a leather couch, though, so I, in yeah, summer it gets to it. Yeah. Sticky. You nap in your car? Love napping Not in my car. Not while you're driving, right? No. Just <laughs> kidding. I could take quick naps in my car like nobody's business. That's, I would be afraid to. No, you just lock the doors, you lay back. You have it's tinted great. windows? Nope. No, see, I can't stand it. People no, just stare at me. Why? People yeah. see me napping all around town. Totally. Like, That's why I could never nap. Nap cam. <laughs> I think somebody's got a nap cam. I'm, I'm sure I'm in someone's Snapchat. I'm going to call it nap chat. That's funny. Yeah. All right, so on Facebook, go to our Facebook page and sound off. Tell us where your favorite place to nap is. Great to meet you. Yeah, yeah thanks, thanks for being here. Wear your ring next time, all right? I will. Yeah. Well, that means you guys have to invite me back. I mean, the single ladies aren't going to try and get a hold of you if you're not wearing the ring. <gasps> so yeah. just letting you know. Naughty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next time, we'll guess your weight.
How about that? All right. <laughs> we'll make it strides. We'll make it strides. Uh, I'll stay away from that. <laughs> yeah. I'm, Paul. I'll be more of a gentleman. Good Thanks man. so much, Thank Travis. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.